women in the 21st century. Hello, I am an 1800s stereotypical male in the 21st century clothing. Women now have the right to vote because we are people too. Women are not good for anything. But housework now! What? Women in my society have made great accomplishments outside of the household. For example, Nellie McClung, a women's rights activist in Canada during the 1900s. It's one thing to fight for something, but surely she didn't achieve anything. That's where you are wrong. Nellie and her followers fought and achieved women's rights in Parliament in a male-dominant society. But in my day, women tended to the children and the kitchen. Well, in my day, women all had the same jobs as men, thanks to Nellie and her followers. Well, who is Nellie? Hello, I am Morgan Freeman. Nellie McClung and her followers fought for women's rights. In a time of turmoil in Canadian society, with men going off to war, jobs were scarce, and women took the place of men. October 20th, 1873, a future historian was born in Chatsworth, Ontario. She spent her life in Manitoba as a strong advocate for the rights of women. Among many causes, she promoted the vote for women, temperance, factory safety legislations, women's rights, women's property right, and the Dower Act. McClung was involved in the party of the Liberals. In 1927, she and four other women, Henrietta Moore Edwards, Emily Murphy, Louise McKinney, and Irene Parlaby, who came together to be known as the Famous Five. They together launched the person's case challenging that women would be equalized to the eligibility to sit in the Senate. Between 1904 and 1911, Nellie McClung, with the help of her husband, Wesley, and their five children, resided in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Through her efforts in 1916, Manitoba became the first province to give women the right to vote. A year later, the Government of Canada gave women the privilege to vote no matter the province or territory. Nellie McClung was one of the most important women in Canadian history. Thank you, Morgan. But women don't belong in Parliament. As you heard, women do belong in Parliament. Nellie is a shining example. I... I... Women are capable of anything, just the same as men. 